Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today is not a very long one, but it is one that you can find pretty useful along the way, I think. Um, not really going to talk about anything musical today, but more an organizational skill that you might want to take advantage of as you are working in Logic. So, um, you may not have ever noticed this. But up here, kind of where you can find your loop library in the upper right hand corner or your media library where you can drag media files into uh, Logic and keep them organized. There's this really cool thing right here called the notepad. And I didn't know about this for a long time because I didn't bother to click on it. But the notepad is a great way for you to be able to take information and store it inside your project. So if you're one of those people that likes to keep a scratch piece of paper beside you while you're doing comp tracks or you're trying to uh, leave notes for someone on a different project and uh, let them be able to see it, this is a great way to actually be able to organize all that inside the project and not have to think later like, oh, where did I put that little piece of scratch paper where I uh, kept the information and everything. So um, if you're on the project tab, you can just double click and start typing and leave yourself notes for the project. There you go. And when you're done, you can just click done and that note is there. Um, more effective to me is the track side. So if you're on the track side and not the project side, then you're only leaving a note for the specific track that you have selected. So So there we've left ourselves a note for this classic electric piano track. And you'll see if I click down to the drums that that changes. Now we've got the message that this needs to be less. It's too busy in general. So uh, I think this is a really effective tool to be able to remind yourself of things, especially if you're comp tracking. Um, I know a lot of people get in there and start comp tracking. And when you get into like 20 or 30 takes on an individual uh, singer, then maybe you can just keep notes as you're going and be like the tracks that were really good, the ones that I want to start with are comp track number one, seven, 12, blah, blah, blah. As you keep a list, those will be the things you go back to first as you're starting to edit and you've got that information left for you right there and it's tied to that specific track. So um, I think this little notepad is a really cool tool. Again, doesn't help your music at all except that it keeps you organized to be more focused as a mix engineer uh, and be able to communicate with others that might be touching your project as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, there is more to come.